if we didn't choose a reference frame at rest with respect to the centre of mass of the system, then there would be a macroscopic movement of the gas cloud through space. And this then brings up questions of relativity. Well, what are we measuring the velocity relative to? And does it mean that one reference frame is preferred over another, so a gas will have a different internal energy in one reference frame over another? And so this is why we define it as with the, as in the reference frame where the centre of mass is at rest. So this brings us to heat. Heat is defined as the transfer of energy across the boundary of a system due to a temperature difference between the system and its surroundings. So heat is transferred from the body at the higher temperature to the body at a lower temperature and it's got the same units as energy, so the joule. So heat is actually an energy transfer, it's not a way of storing energy. So sometimes in everyday language we talk about something having a lot of heat, but really heat is an energy transfer, so that's an incorrect usage of that term. So what is the difference between heat and internal energy? Well, Internal energy is the energy stored within the system, and heat is the transfer of energy into or out of the system. And what is another way of transferring energy to a system? Earlier in the mechanics topic, you learned about work, which is another way of transferring energy from one body to another body. So people have actually done experiments where they've done work on a system such as water in this container here. This was done by Joule. And you can actually make small changes in the temperature of the water by doing work on it because you're introducing energy to the system and so increasing the internal energy and hence increasing the temperature. So this brings us to a really important rule. So we've seen that energy in the system is always conserved. Any transfer of energy into or out of a system will result in a change in the internal energy of the system. And we've said that there's two ways to transfer energy into or out of the system. So this brings us to the first law of thermodynamics. The change in internal energy is equal to the heat transferred into the system plus the work done on the system. So now let's have a bit more of a look at how we can calculate the work done on the system. So first of all, work done on the gas. If we have a gas in a piston such as this, when we use a force to push down on the piston and hence compress the gas, we're doing work on that gas. We're going to consider the case where the piston is pushed down slowly quasi-statically so that the gas is always in equilibrium. So the work done is equal to the force which is applied times the displacement of the piston. So if we, we, we're considering it quasi-statically, so we're just considering very small increments in this case, so dw, a small increment of work, is equal to f dot ds. So F is the force the piston applies on the gas. So that force is going to be due to the weight of the friction, due to the pressure of the atmosphere pushing on the piston, plus due to any additional applied force. So we can write dW is equal to F dot dy as the piston's moving in the y direction in this case. So as it's in equilibrium, the force of the gas pushing up on the piston is the same as the force the push piston is pushing downwards. And so we have F is equal to minus PA, where this is the applied force. The negative comes about because this is the force from the gas, which is acting upwards in the opposite direction. So we have the dW is equal to F dot dy, and F is equal to minus PA, we can just substitute into this equation and we have that the work done is equal to minus PA dy. And now A dy, that's the surface area times dy, so that's the change in volume of the gas inside this cylinder. dW is equal to minus P dV. So when the gas is compressed, dV is negative and so the work done is positive. So we actually need to do work on the gas to compress it. 
As a gas expands, dV is positive, and so dW is negative. So as the gas expands, it's the gas itself which is doing the work. And so the energy contained within the gas decreases. So we've just written dW is equal to minus PdV. This is the differential form. To solve it, we need to integrate. So W is equal to minus the change in the volume times the pressure. So minus the integral of PdV. So to solve this integral, we can just work out the area underneath the curve. Usually in physics, that's the easiest way to do it. You're generally given fairly simple geometric shapes. And so it's fairly easy just to work out the area underneath the curve. And there will be a few occasions where you may have to actually integrate. So let's consider these three different situations here. In each of these situations, we're going from the same initial state to the same final state, but we're getting there through different means. In this first case, we're keeping the pressure constant and changing the volume, and then keeping the volume constant and changing the pressure. And you can see the amount of work done in this case is just the area under the curve here. As this is a line directly up and volume isn't changing, there's no work done there. So this is a relatively small amount of work done. In this second case, we initially keep the volume constant and then we keep the pressure constant. And the work done in this case is actually much larger as the area under the curve is much larger. And in this case, it's, it's the case in between. So what you can see is that the work is actually dependent on the path we choose to get from an initial state to a final state. So the work isn't fixed, it's dependent upon the path we choose to take between two states. So here's a problem for you to try. Work out how much work is done on the ideal gas below. So it's going from state A here which is at 7 atmospheres, to state B here at 2 atmospheres. And it changes, the volume changes from 1 litre at A to 2.2 litres at B. Once you've answered that, have a think about does the temperature of the gas change during this process?